man, we haven't had that happen in a long time. <laughs> yeah, we had the show just cut off. The signal lost. I don't know. Everything went dead. <laughs> Right during the show, man. We're talking about the Mandela effect, talking about multiple dimensions, getting deep into it, talking about what do you remember, Looney Tunes or Looney Tunes? <laughs> yeah, people were starting to hit us up. I mean, Twitter be hitting us up. I mean, people be talking on, you know, just, I don't know, it's a crazy subject. I don't know. You'll be surprised at how many people know about the Mandela effect. I mean, you would think that, you know, because it doesn't get that much time, you know, in the media or in the mainstream or anywhere that nobody know about it. But, man, make no mistake, people know about it. And people are talking about it, and it's starting to make more and more headway when it comes to, like, individual people in the word of mouth. Because, you, like I said, you're not getting the help from the mainstream. And nobody really, you know, seems to care about this subject. And this subject is dear, dear to me because, you know, I feel like I'm affected. You know, I feel like I remember Looney Tunes and not the tunes as in music tunes. So, yeah, I jump right back into it because the last show, we was, we was we're doing well, man. And, you know, Mikey can't tell me what happened. And, you know, Jim, I mean, nobody, none of us know. I mean, we have a strong signal right now. We're live from Los Angeles, California, Dark Skies Podcast, of course, right? Uh, I'm looking at it. Everything cool, right? Mikey, everything good? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. So about 20-something minutes into the last show, it just went dead. Uh, well, the signal was lost. Uh, we was waiting for it to come back on, and it never came back on. So what we did was we we shut it down and we rebooted the computers. And I don't know. There's no bugs. I'm not seeing. Mikey like said there's no updates. You know, I don't know. That's a strange one. So. I mean, I don't think they're knocking me off the air because of what I'm talking about. I mean, the Mandela effect doesn't mean nothing to nobody except the people that are affected. I mean, and since so few people are affected, I mean, I mean, you can see that I'm not getting thousands upon thousands of views on my Mandela effect videos. I mean, there's only, a, you know, a handful of people that seem to really feel obligated to find out what's going on here. I mean, because... Tell me, I mean, if this really is true, which I believe it is, and I'm looking at all the evidence to say it is, I mean, this will be like one of the most important finds in human history. I can't imagine anything more important than this. I mean, this is like multiple universes, right? As I um, talk about the multiple universe theory, I say, okay, there's so many universes out there, right? It could be infinite universes. So just that alone is enough to say, wow, that's a huge statement. That's something that, you know, needs some type of evidence. So you look at all this evidence that we're producing and then you still ignore it. So what I'm saying is maybe I'm trying to tell you something that you already know. You know, because if I tell you that the sky is blue, you already know the sky is blue. You won't even bother to look up. You know, I'm not telling you something you don't know. So that's how the world look at the Mandela effect, right? Like, we already know about it. Yeah, yeah, that's the Mandela effect. Yeah, yeah. You know, they just blow it off. Now, how can something so important and something so big and something so, you know, infinite and incredible, you know, just be blown off and brushed to the side? Like, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. It's so, you know, incredible when I start to look at just people's reaction when it comes to the subject. And some people, like, are blown away. Some people, worlds have been shattered. Some people, reality has been shaken. Some people, world has been turned upside down as they try to figure out what the hell is going on. What happened to my history, my mind, my memory, my family, my friends. And then some people just move on. Eh. So, me, I'm not the type of person to move on. I mean, I talk about it. I want to make sense of it. I open lines of discussion, right? We're discussing it. Because we want people to um, 
you know, give their opinion. I mean, I don't want to be the only person affected by this. I mean, I want to be one of many, hopefully, you know, so we can all discuss it. Figure it out together. I mean, I don't want to be figuring this out alone. I've done a lot of videos on this subject, and a lot of people are giving me great feedback, great information, too. And I often wonder, you know, what's up, UK? I often wonder, you know, is it real? Am I living some type of dream? I still every day wait to wake up, wait to wake up. It's almost hard to say. It's almost hard to imagine because if you're thinking that you're living in a dream, you know, you're waiting for the old reality to come back and for me to wake up and say, oh, my God, that was the craziest thing. I was living in another reality for a long time. Now, I still feel that way. <laughs> it's kind of a double-edged sword because no matter what happens, I mean, you're going to have the memories of something, you know, either this or that or both. So no matter where you're at, so it just takes you on a crazy mind trip. And a lot of people are all in. I mean, we got a Mandela Effect community. You know what I'm saying? And it's not a community of crazy weirdos. It's just a community of researchers, people that, you know, find enjoyment in learning. You know, they want to learn what's going on, especially when something's happening to you personally. When it hits close to home, yeah, you got to do something, man. You got to... You know, you got to dig deep. You got to ask yourself, I'm just going to roll over and just accept this. Well, I'm going to try to find out what's really going on. I'm going to go on a mission. The ultimate mission. A mission unlike any mission that's ever been taken on before. You know, I'm going to go out and try to figure out the Mandela effect. <laughs> but not just the Mandela effect. Everything that's encompassed around it. Everything that's, you know, on this crazy crazy schedule, right? Schedule of weirdness. <laughs> because weirdness could can weirdness be scheduled? You know? Left today at three o'clock. Shit gonna get real real weird. <laughs> well sometimes it does seem like it's clockwork because you think that um you know what's coming next and you don't. And that's why, you know, these multiple universe, you know, things, you know, make sense. You know, these theories, they say that there's so many universes out there. You know, we're living in just one of them. But is it possible to experience multiple universes? You know, could I live here and there? Am I living here and there at the same time? How can I have memories of here and there? I don't know, man. It gets real crazy after a while, I tell you that much. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break, make sure our systems are still up. We're still on the air, Mikey? <laughs> all right, Jennifer, it's all yours then. I'm for the light one. Y'all should do one too. <laughs> light one, light two. Put them in there. you listening to Dark Skies Podcast. Just to show up, but everything ain't what it seemed. It's hard to live somebody else's dreams. I put all my trust in my team. Know that my money straight won't let nothing come in between. Politic with my fam, never let the hate intervene. Smoking weed out of Vegas and thanking God for the scene. Thinking back to when we ain't have it. Made it on, came far, needed practice. Moving forward, why you thinking backwards? Never sleep, hardly need a mattress. I kick my shoes off my feet, then fall asleep in my seat. Claiming you won your job, well, doggy, it ain't complete. Claiming you got the squad, but y'all niggas can't compete. Came with too many broads, can't fit them all in my suite. What can I say? Bring the champagne glasses, roll the J's faster. Time flies, uh, uh. no lie. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just don't know, man. This is Los Angeles, California. You know, we're a smoke-friendly state. So, and right now I'm in a smoke-friendly building. You know, I know the I know the owner. <laughs> but now we chilling. You listening to Dark Fast Podcast? You know, we're live, and we're still on the air. They haven't knocked us off. <laughs> Today we're talking about the Mandela Effect, and it's kind of almost as usual because we do so many podcasts on this top topic, right? Because we haven't come to the answer. We haven't come to no conclusions. We have come to no consensus. We often uh, discuss different aspects of this um, this effect, right? We often look for the cause. We come up with different theories like, oh, is this CERN? You know, is it 2012? Or is it our place in the cosmic universe where we're being affected by a certain cosmic rays that's opening our you know, our spirit and our minds and our souls to different experiences. You know, we're experiencing life on a quantum level. Is it possible? You know, or is it just my imagination? Oh, LC, you tripping. You know, a lot of people say that, you know, you crazy, LC. Why? Because I have an open mind. Because I ask questions. Because I'm not willing to accept you know, the acceptable. You know, I ask hard questions. Like, man, what the fuck is this, man? What the fuck just happened? Or what the hell is going on? Or who just did that? Or why would you do that? <laughs> you gotta ask questions, man. You're a fool if you think you have all the answers or if you think answers are not necessary. Especially when you start to look at weirdness, strangeness, and on a higher level. And I miss the days when strangeness was just a butterfly that's a color that I've never seen. Now it's all kinds of weird-ass animals. Places that didn't exist that exist now. Places existing in the wrong place. <sighs> Maybe we try to tell people it's just beyond. It's beyond. I ain't even going to say comprehension. I'm just going to say beyond. (laughs) But I see people trying, and God bless your souls. You know, because I I, I used to hear, you know, a saying that says, you know, if you take one step towards you, you take two towards you. And I feel the same about knowledge. You know, if you seek it, the knowledge will seek you. And it's funny because the universe put me in so many different situations where, you know, I'm taking in all this information and it's it's sticking, it's, it's staying with me, you know? Why not me? And who else could do this? <laughs> and, you know, podcasts or, you know, many. Matter of fact, it's way more podcasts now probably than, you know, major news, media, organizations. You know, and we all do our own work. And the difference is, you know, you get an honest account, you know, for these podcasters and these researchers. You know, people tell you, you know, from their heart and their soul, you know, they remember or how they feel. To me, that's what the media is missing. They don't have it no more. But they can get up there and just tell the truth. You know? Or just say what they truly feel. You know, without any type of, you know, gain. You know, because I have nothing to gain. Whether you believe in the Mandela effect or not, whether you're affected or not, you know, it doesn't make me any difference. The reason I do this is, you know, maybe I'm helping somebody. Well, I know the different community members often stay in contact with me. And they often give me, you know, encouraging comments. And, you know, they're doing the same thing when it comes to researching and trying to figure out what's going on. It's not just me. You know, I'm one of many. But at the same time, I'm one of many, but one of few. You know, you just want to think in your mind that it's many because you don't want to think of few. <laughs> you know, you don't, because it gets lonely, you know. And so many Mandela Effect people are lonely. And even people not affected by the Mandela effect are just out there looking for something real, you know, something more than just what they're experiencing, you know. It's lonely, the existence of, you know, being intelligent, being smart. 
you know, you're just not going to be able to, you know, jive with bullshit, dumb shit, stupid shit. You know, you're looking for something smart, something with substance, something with meaning. That's why, you know, I, I enjoy, um, you know, going on YouTube. I look at many YouTube videos. And sometimes I comment, sometimes I don't. But I do watch, you know, I get my eyes on everything because I have to. I feel like I'm obligated. You know, I'm obligated to know what's happening because, you know, it's happening to me, it's happening to you, it's happening to my family, it's happening to who knows, countless people. So when you start to feel uh, responsible for, you know, others, that's what I call looking beyond yourself, you know. It's not just me. It's others, you know, it's other people, you know. So we do this for that reason. And hopefully, you know, we're making a difference, you know. <laughs> I think we are, man. So for now, you know, take my advice and kick back with your feet up. You know, pop open a beer. <laughs> Pour a glass of champagne, glass of wine. You know, it's Saturday night. You're listening to Dark Skies Podcast. We're talking multiple universes. And a Mandela Effect. As we listen to music. Smoke up the room. <laughs> Dark skies. I had an idea in my head. I pictured this going differently. I meant every word that I said. You should have spent more time listening. All the things that I put a hold on. All for you to hit me with a hold on. What makes you so ready right now? After I waited on you for so long Why you wanna be my love? Is it just for sure? Why you wanna be my love? My love, my love, love Why you wanna be my love? Is it just sure? Why you wanna be my love? My love, my love, love Why you wanna be my love? My love, my love Why you wanna be my love? My love, my love Why you wanna be my love? My love, my love Why you wanna be my love? My love, my love I had an idea in my head I pictured this going differently Even when you sleep in my bed I know you're not mine officially And all the things I put a hold on All for you to hit me with a hold on What makes you so ready right now? After I waited on you for so long Why you wanna be my
Uh, Jennifer, check check my post. See if, see if I'm still alive. I'm still alive? Okay. Then you're listening to Dark Skies Live. <laughs> News and Information Podcast coming to you live, man. I'm, my post, my heart is still beating. I'm looking at I'm looking at my signal. Uh, I got a strong signal, right? <laughs> Are they going to knock me off again? It's all good, man. It's a beautiful thing just being on there. It's a beautiful thing having, you know, friends and family and people who care about this podcast. And, you know, and future podcasts that we got coming up. And it's crazy because it is a lot more Mandela effect coming up, please believe me. And we also got time travel and giants and crazy stuff that's happening in this world when it comes to this crazy climate. I mean, we do get more rain happening. I mean, it's no end. But that's why we're losing information and not just, you know, the Mandela Effect podcast. You know, because there's so much happening in this world. But I understand when it comes to all of my listeners, when it comes to this Mandela Effect, they're like, man, you don't do it enough. You got to give us more. You got to tell us more. You got to find more Mandela Effects. You got to, you know, put it out there. You got to let the world know. And I'm doing it. I mean, not just, you know, Spreaker.com, right? It's iHeartRadio. Thank God for YouTube. What's up? You know, all my friends in the YouTube universe. I mean, thanks to y'all, this podcast has definitely grown over the past, like, two years. So, you know, I love saying thanks, you know, because we can't do this alone. I can imagine what doing this alone would look like. It'll look like us doing a podcast and maybe, you know, zero plays. <laughs> but even though, you know, if I get one or two, three, four people, you know, because everybody, you know, don't get, don't gravitate towards the same subjects or the same thing don't spark your interest or the same thing don't grab your, you know, your awe. And it's crazy because in the world that we live in, there's so many different things that hold our attention, to grab our attention that, you know, that we can do for entertainment. Right. You know, it's beautiful women, you know, out there. It's beautiful sights, great places to go, beautiful eatery. And I'm just talking about here in Los Angeles. I mean, I'm pretty sure no matter where you're at, you could be in Wisconsin, you could be in Nova Scotia, you know. You mean Trinidad. You could be in Champaign, you know, Costa Rica. Doesn't matter where you're at. I mean, I'm pretty sure you have things to do. Whether it's work, family, friends, fun. You know, so anytime you take a few moments to, you know, look beyond yourself and you ask yourself, you know, what's happening in the world of weirdness? <laughs> you checking on Dark Skies podcast. Oh, we drop another podcast. And thank God for some of y'all who subscribe and hit the notification button. And y'all know when we drop something new, are you there? On Spotify, you know, somebody might, you know, see a topic in and hit us up. iHeartRadio, you know, people actually, you know, check in. You know, see what's happening. News and information. You know, strange news and information. <laughs> But I don't control the strangeness of news. I mean, the news just happened. You know, life happens. That's my model. You know, I don't make life happen. You know, I wish I could. I mean, I, I guess. I mean, that would be cool, right? <laughs> but I want to um, try to understand how life is working, how my life is working, how yours, how our life is connected, quantumly connected. I'm getting so I could put the word quantum in front of everything. <laughs> like they're doing that, man. You know, I'm smoking this quantum blunt. <laughs> you know, as I travel through our reality, through reality, speaking out, you know, speaking out, you know, for the ones that are trapped with me, traveling through time and space. And no matter what happens, I mean, we all travel through time and space, right? We're on Earth. Earth is moving around the sun. 
It takes time for that to happen. It's happening in space. <laughs> I mean, I'll be breaking stuff down. You know, I'll make it real simple for you to understand. Because it is real simple if you really break it down. I mean, you don't have to be you no know, super intelligent genius. I mean, I know I'm above average intelligence. And I ain't going to toot my own whistle. Well, I guess I will. I'm above average intelligence. But at the same time, you know, it don't take somebody to be above average intelligence to be able to see the things that I see. You got to say, okay, it's more. When you dig in the dirt, you digging up bones and dinosaurs. You're like, yeah, wow, that's incredible. You look at these structures on the planet, you're like, wow, these structures are incredible. These pyramids, it's like, wow. You know, or do you got to go to work? You're late for work. You know, the eighth wonder of the world. Do you know what it is? Do you know anything about Stonehenge? Do you know anything about the Nazca Lines? Do you know anything about the Sun Pyramid? I mean, there's so many different incredible discoveries. But this shouldn't even be discoveries. These are things that have been on the planet for so long. You know, it's like discovering America. And somebody there saying, hey, come on, how you doing, man? Welcome. And you say, wow, I discovered this place. <laughs> yeah, I discovered this place and all these people were here to welcome me. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, history say one thing, reality says another. And then your memory says another. So it gets real confusing. So some people say, just fuck it. You know, and I ain't gonna be confused. So it is what it is. I mean, you know, the choice is yours. I mean, I can't make you drink water. I can just show you the ocean. <laughs> and it's funny because um, so many of us are placed in a position where we're going to be forced to learn. Forced to adjust. Forced to, you know, compensate. Because, you know, like I said, it's happening whether you like it or not. You're affected whether you know, you're, you know, whether you know it or not. Because one of the uh, analogy, analogies I love to use is, you know, just because you don't know it's a bear in that cave don't mean that bear in the cave can't kill you when you go in that cave. <laughs> you know, you don't get to use that as an excuse. I didn't know there was no bear in that cave, and therefore I'm not going to get hurt when I go in that cave. No, you can go in the cave, and if it's a bear, man, he's going to. Kill your ass, or at least do you bad. <laughs> you know, so come on, man. Just because you don't know something exists, or you refuse to believe it exists, or acknowledge it, or even look that way. I mean, you know, a rock thrown from away, you know, from your blind side can still knock you out, right? If you don't turn around in time and dodge it. You know, I keep throwing all these analogies out here and I'll give you an idea that, you know, maybe you should be aware of your surroundings and what's happening around you, you know, why the climate is changing, you know, what's going on, what these reality changes, you know. And if somebody's saying it, you know, and a bunch of people are saying this stuff, is it any cretins? Should you leave, lend any cretins to it? I just blow it off. You know, these people are crazy. I don't know, man. But it is what it is. I know one thing. I am your host. Elsie Grace. Mikey Knox Jim. Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you for helping out with the music. Ah, we survived, I think, part two, the second portion of the Mandela Effect. Multiple universes. And we didn't get knocked off of here for the second part. We're going to need it a second part of, I don't know, it could be bugs. We're going to be searching the computers, trying to find out which laptop or should we use the tablet. So, I don't know. We need to figure out what's going on because I don't like being knocked off the air in the middle of my podcast. That's not cool. You know? Who did that? <laughs> I don't know, man. Jim said it wasn't him. And I believe him. Why? Because he's a trustworthy man. <laughs>
<laughs> nah, man, things happen, and um, you know, sometimes it's beyond our cap- capabilities of comprehending. <laughs> you know, maybe we got shifted to another universe right in the middle of the podcast and knocked us off here. Now we came back on here in another podcast universe. Uh, who knows? All I know is that we do this for a reason. And the reason is we search for the truth. You know, we bring light to the dark. Make sense of the senseless. In hopes to spark discussion. In hope to come to a consensus. To answer the hardest questions ever asked before. By man or by animal. Hey, do animals ask questions? If so, we don't hear them. Unless it's a parrot. (laughs) I don't know, man. I'm just out there. But we all are out there. And that's the most incredible thing about it. Man, I'm having fun, though. And I hope you are, too. And until we meet again, you know, Dark Skies Podcast, man. It's a reason we exist in this time, this space. This reality, this universe, with you, with me, all of us together. <laughs> and it's Saturday night, it's, it's Sunday morning, I'll be here in a few minutes, right? Oh man, time do fly. Wow. Well, thanks again. This is part two, because part one was cut like a knife. You know, from the back though, you know. Didn't even see it coming. But this is part two, though. You know. Why? Because we love you. And because, you know, we can't leave you hanging. You'll think that, you know, something went wrong, you know? And it did. But this is the correction. Or uh, part two of the insurrection. <laughs> oh, man, I'll just have a fun, y'all. You know. Dark Skies Podcast. News and information coming to you. Live from Los Angeles, California. And I am out.